Hello, welcome back. Let's fly Kerbal Space Program, the rescaled version. Uh, okay, in the meantime, did a few things. We went and uh, have my custom skybox back. Went and figured out how to free up enough RAM that I can do that. So I'm happy about that. Let's go ahead and restart this. Um, we had an adventure. Unfortunately, nothing got recorded of it. Well, technically a few things did get recorded, but uh, see, I was thinking because, because that my, my, um, my, my moon robot two, uh, because it is so lightweight, I thought that it would be kind of silly to use Spork 10 to, to launch, you know, this, this, uh, under five ton payload. Uh, so I decided that I was going to go and I put together, uh, you know, I put together, I, I renamed just my, my lifting series. I, I put together something and I, and I even adapted this rocket to make it work. I call it Javelin 5 because it looks kind of like a Javelin. Yeah, and, and I was, I was, yes, I was actually planning to use a rocket for once and, and to launch it on a rocket because, you know, the Spork 10 is supposed to lift 10 tons and it's, it's just, a, it's not, it's not cost effective, right? Um, it blew up. I don't mean the rocket blew up, although that did happen a couple of times. I mean the game blew up something. Some thing about the combination of Moon Rovebot 2 and that rocket means that I can reliably cause the game to crash. It just it just immediately run away ram spike and and bam, it, the game is game done, game over. Um I have no idea why. None, none no idea. So, um <laughs> I went in go ahead and I'll put it here. And you know, I did. I couldn't record much of anything, although there was some ranting that happened. It's, uh, it just really wasn't quite workable, uh, because you know you can't record stuff when the game is constantly crashing. So uh, I decided that well, okay, uh, Spork Ten is kind of overpowered for this craft, but we'll do it anyway. Here we'll just take a look at it in there. Uh, yeah, we've got it all strutted down. Probably with our with our new stiffer joints, it's probably over strutted. I made a couple of small changes. I really, after watching, after editing the the, the previous video, I looked at. It. You know what? I bet you the thing could use another reaction wheel in there because all we have is this tiny, tiny little. Uh, you know, I did it. Oh yeah, we've we've got like a couple of mild rebuilds. We've got a smaller probe core there. and yeah, I thought it needed another reaction wheel. Maybe it needed some more solar panels. We just, just a couple of tiny little tweaks like that. The, the overall functionality of the thing remains unchanged. Setting up all the staging was fun too. <laughs> okay, but anyway, we're going to use Spork 10 to do it. Here, let me re reattach this strut. I was, I, I had this plan that I was, you know, I was kept on waiting for the, the procedural parts mod update and I was really looking forward to doing that, but I tried to update and it is glitched. It is bugged out for me. Other people do not report having the same bugs. So apparently it's something I've done wrong. I don't know what. In any case, for the time being, I'm still running with the old, outdated, obsolete version of procedural parts. I think it's likely that whenever I do get the update to work. I'm probably going to have to uh, rebuild Spork 10. More likely replace Spork 10. Yeah. But that's not for now. There we go. See if we get a, um, a, a less acrobatic <laughs> jettison of the, of, of the external fuel tank. Okay. Here we go. Um, I don't mind admitting to you fine folk that I'm kind of nervous, actually, to attempt this mission to find out if the, my, my mathematics, if my everything that I was figuring out, did I figure it incorrectly? And even if I figured it correctly, uh, am I capable of flying it? <laughs> flying it precisely accurately enough. But, you know, there's, um, I don't know, don't, don't start this hobby. <laughs> If you're afraid of making a fool of yourself, if you're afraid of failing on camera. And I've never been afraid of that, so yeah, let's do it. Why is it not working? Oh, wait a second. This is this the issue? One alpha five? N no. Damn it. It's done this before too. Um, key binding is alpha one. 
Oh, I, I remember. I This was an error that happened before. Okay, hang on. Now let's try this. Now it's working. And there's the engine trim. Okay, yeah, I think that it reset because I ended up uh, have I uh, as I was working with getting more mods working. I uninstalled it and reinstalled it. And so it lost some of those changes. Okay. All right, that was exciting. Jeb, uh, let's go ahead, let's go. We're aiming for a 200 kilometer orbit. Also, a first light with my new fancy new nav ball, so I'm looking forward to that. Let's fix the engine trim a little bit more. Okay, come on guys, stay on that 90 degree line. We always like to wander off that 90 degree line immediately at launch. And I would rather you didn't do that. Let's start out on the 90 degree line. Okay, the SRBs are gone. That's good. Means we gain a little bit more control. Keep on pitching backwards. And I can turn this, and I really want to fix this inclination. We're four degrees off, guys. Come on. Stage again. Let's get those OMS engines running. Fix it engine trim. Okay, here we go. Now we're fixing that inclination as the apoapsis climbs. We need to pitch back some more. I like this nav ball. So much easier to read. Okay, so the beginning part of the launch was kind of rough, but I think things are kind of settling down now, working out. I'm keeping an eye on that periaptus since we're launching a lighter payload than usual. We may actually, if this if this periaptus number, if that comes around to positive numbers, then I may be jettisoning this external fuel tank even with some fuel in it. Make certain that it deorbits. Yes, it's coming. Oh, actually, it looks like it'd be very, very close. We've got just gasps of fuel in there. And apoapsis is almost... Oh, that's just about perfect. Oh, wow. Excellent, okay. So you see... Yeah, it looks like... Oh, I actually may have moved those a little bit too far forward. Okay. Do that. Let's stay... No! Oh, I should have checked the staging. That was the wrong thing. That was the wrong thing. Oh no, what happened? How did... I thought I fixed the staging. Okay, what turned loose? This is no longer connected, is it? If I... Yeah, that is no longer connected. Disaster. Disaster, disaster. Oh, um. I wonder. Let me try something. I've never actually tried this. We're gonna, we're gonna push it. Whoops, hang on. Here, let's um, turn this back on. Hit one. Come on, Jeb, you the man. You can, you can make this work. We're gonna push it. Oh, hang on. Don't let it get away. RCSing forward a little bit. Good and catching up to it. We can make this work, man. We've got okay, so apoapsis is up there at the correct altitude. Timed apoapsis, ten minutes. Um, you know, this isn't impossible. Here, let's make this easier to think about. Let's just roll right side up. This is not impossible. Okay, pitch down some. Let's keep centered on that. We're gonna, we're just, we're just gonna push it, Jeb. It's gonna work. I promise you. Just everybody, take your time. Don't do anything too incredibly stupid. We actually need to translate left just a hair. About that much. Stop. Okay, we keep down. Uh, we may have to end up doing this like all the way up to that apoapsis. Okay, now the thing is that the probe itself 
is going to move some. Well, wait a second. I can I can adjust that though, can't I? Yeah, I can. Here, let's switch vessels. No, not that. I don't care about that. Uh, switch vessels. There we go. Yeah, we can move this just slightly. So how's this thing doing electric charge? That's good. Yeah, so we can make certain that that lines up. Okay, this is not a disaster. Not a disaster. We can make this work. I'm sure it still has. Yeah, it's still got all that fuel and everything in there. All right, let's not mess with that. Okay, switch vessels again. Not that. I don't care about that. This. Here we go. Okay, so, yeah, I'm going to take my time, and we're just going to continue to keep these two vessels lined up. Here, translate upward some. It's going to work. We're going to save this mission, Jeb. Jeb's clapping. He's happy. Okay, translate down. We just want to kill relative velocity with it, just exactly like maintaining... I maintaining like an almost a dock. That, um, hang on. Is it moving? Turn right. Does it translate to the right just a hair? Tell me this is gonna work. Of course it's gonna work. Seven and a half minutes to apoapsis. Six minutes to go. No, well, six, six and a half. Let's. Switch vessels again. And on this one, I just want to keep it kind of pointed at the 90 degree line. We'll go back and we'll adjust this vehicle. All right, translate upward some more. It's actually going a little bit past it like this. And we'll aim the nose down here like about at this point and we'll try to line things up down there so we're not chasing it when we get to the apoapsis. Okay. That'll work. Right, keep the nose down there, dudes. Turn down like that. Good. How are we doing the left to right? That's still pretty good. Swing right just slightly. See how that works. Thrust forward slightly. Switch vehicles. Yeah. Here we go. Just try and get that pointed roughly the same. Five minutes to apoapsis. Switch back to spork 10. Switch down some more. We're doing left to right. Pretty close. We'll translate right just a little bit for a couple, about a second squirt. Let's translate forward some. If this actually works, it'll be just like one of the coolest, the coolest mission, mission saves ever in the history of Kerbal Space Program. Alright, we're still thrusting, translating forwards. Okay, now I can see we do, are closing on it. We need to still translate relative down. And we're gently closing the distance. Okay. Swing left slightly. It's actually going to give it a half a second squirt of RCS to the left. Okay, a little more than three minutes till apoapsis. We can do this, Jeb. This is going to work. I trust you. Trust you. You need to trust me. Whatever. You know what I'm saying. Two minutes forty-five to apoapsis. Give it a tiny little squirt. Translate backwards so we don't bump into it a little bit more. So we're gonna just barely, barely hang loose there. A little bit more backwards. Kill. We want to kill all relative motion. Uh, now we're backing up slightly and forward just a hair. And back just a hair. Pitch up some. Two minutes. Apoapsis. It's gonna work. It's gonna work. Why wouldn't it work? Back up just a hair. 
Pitch up some. I think we nudged it. Other vehicles. The probe's SAS is on. It's going to help keep it steady. Minute 45. Pitch up some more. It'd be helpful if the SAS would stop waggling back and forth like this. I don't like that. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Don't touch anything. Minute and a half to apoapsis. Don't mind telling you, I'm kind of tense. Uh, we're slightly off center, but I think it's okay. See, we're not touching it. Let's. Yeah, we can. We'll try yawing left just a little bit. One minute, apoapsis. Let's not touch anything, really. It doesn't I imagine it doesn't even have to be just perfectly centered on there, does it? Uh, drifting backwards slightly. Let's give it one squirt of forward translation. We're down 35 seconds to apoapsis, and we can even you'll start burning just a few seconds early. Yeah, we're, that's just about just about flush. Okay, let's. We're going to gradually ease into the throttle. Still good. Okay, Let's, I don't see any reason to even increase above this throttle setting. Thank you, camera, that's not helpful. It's in orbit. Just a little bit more, we'll get it up to 200. 50, 160, 70. Stop. Close enough. Yeah, that worked. Okay. Whew. Okay, okay, yeah, that worked. Uh, yeah, that is that is definitely for our purposes close enough to circular. We can this uh, the Moon Rove bot probe, it it's it has its own yeah, it has its own abilities. It can if it's necessary to circularize that, we can do that. Okay, okay. Well, there was something that I personally have never attempted in Kerbal Space Program before, and it just made it up in the spur of the moment, and it worked just fine. So, it's a happy day, isn't it? Okay, cool. Switch over to the probe. Here, let's go to free camera, not auto camera. There we go. Uh, let me see. So, let's take a look. What does the engineer think that we have? Delta V. 2830. That seems kind of low, doesn't it? Wait a second. Am I, am I just remembering this wrong? No pad. Um, something is not right. Yeah, all the fuel, everything's full. Okay, does this Delta V total? It doesn't know about the other stages for whatever reason. You know, I decided to thrust limit those. Liquid oxygen and kerosene, good. Yeah, it's not good. Uh, okay. I'm seeing multiple problems here. First off, this says I only have 2830 meters per second delta V in this stage by itself, and that one is supposed to be at least 3225. Let's turn SAS off. Don't really need that right now. And it's not giving me numbers for any of these others. Is the engineer wrong? But this engineer is what gave me the good numbers actually inside the... Yeah, it gave me the good numbers in the, in the building editor. I'm very, very puzzled by that. 